found this little path down here and nice little area with actually kind of soft ground so I should be pretty comfortable. If you can see behind me here, these rocks that are right out here often have birds on those, especially in the evenings and I've seen them there in the mornings as well. I got my Mono V2 with me, put that up here. I've been talking about the farm that's here, they know that I'm going to be here. So I'm going to leave the hide up and I'm going to make my way back to this over a couple of days to see what we can get here. So first off, put up the Mono 2 and I think I'm going to head off right now because it's windy and it's kind of clouded and the sun is going to go down so I'm ha I'll be having backlight. Um, I wouldn't mind backlight, but I want I want the sun to actually come through for the backlight. That would actually be a really good a good thing to get here. For now though, I'm just going to put up the hide and then we can come back here and work with this over the next couple of days. Right, height is all set up, pretty well hidden here. I'm happy with that. I'm walk away now, come back later or tomorrow morning. So I had a couple of things in this morning. Um, when I first showed up before sunrise, I had two rooster catchers on the rocks in front of me here. And there's a lot of mallow ducks here now. They're going through their eclipse, so they're all, um, um, all the males look kind of weird and kind of patchy looking. They had a great crested creep on a swim by. I can see herons and stuff in the distance, and Canada geese had some grey legs come by. Most of the stuff that came by that was interesting. The uh, oyster catchers and great grace to grieve came by when it was so dark, so I couldn't get a photo. It was just a little bit of footage. This is a really good place for the hide. Now it's all about you know, spending the time in the field to get to get lucky, to get that putting that time in, and uh, the birds will come eventually, and then I get my photos.
was absolutely incredible. So at first I only had some of the duck species that I had here this morning. But then the heron that I saw before I got into the light must have been just right around the corner in amongst the vegetation. So all of a sudden I saw it walk out there. And I was following it for a while as it was feeding. And then just as I was about to change lenses, because it was a little bit further away and it was behind some rocks, I thought it'd be safe to change um, to change my camera and lens. And just as I moved my camera, I looked through the viewfinder and right onto another heron, probably five or six meters from the light. And we both just froze, completely froze. And I, I don't even know how long it was. It felt like an eternity, but it was probably like 20 seconds or something. And it seemed like it was calming down, like I didn't move at all. I just kept filming. I kind of looked away, shook its head a little bit, and then it took off. So at first I was kicking myself that I didn't notice that heron. But then this other one didn't notice, and it kept feeding, and it walked around, and got a good few images and some footage. So I'm super happy with that. And then the rain came as well. It's just one of those things where you have, you're in a hide like this, completely waterproof, and I'm just so comfortable. It's, you know, we got the mesh up top as well as it creates an airflow through. So it's quite muggy out, but I've been so comfortable here. I'm just lying here in a t-shirt. Coming up to 9.30 on a Friday night. I don't think there's anywhere I'd rather be. This was just a perfect evening. Thank you. 